until I tell her that I'll never roam. So Chattanooga choo-choo, won't you choo-choo me home? Chattanooga, Chattanooga, get aboard. Chattanooga, Chattanooga, all aboard. Chattanooga, Chattanooga. Chattanooga choo-choo, won't you choo-choo me home? Chattanooga choo-choo.
Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. Mon nom est Sandy Ali et nous vous souhaitons la bienvenue à la cérémonie de graduation de l'école secondaire Alexander Galt. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tanya Cortez and we'd like to welcome you to the Alexander Galt ceremony to celebrate the accomplishments of our 51st graduating class. Miss Ali and myself have the esteemed privilege of being your masters of ceremony for this evening. La cérémonie et la remise des diplômes débuteront prochainement. Comme il est évident, notre événement sera différent cette année encore du format traditionnel, mais nous vous encourageons à participer via Facebook en direct en envoyant vos félicitations et encouragements. Comme la discussion est surveillée, nous vous demandons de garder les messages et les commentaires polis et constructifs. The ceremony and the presentation of the graduates will begin momentarily. As is evident, once again this year, our event will differ from the traditional format but we encourage you to participate via Facebook live stream by sending your congratulations and encouragement. As our stream is being monitored, we ask that you keep posts and comments polite and constructive. Comme nous le faisons traditionnellement, à leur arrivée, les diplômés s'approcheront de la scène pour recevoir leur certificat pendant que nous lirons quelques messages de remerciements et de souvenirs préparés à l'avance par les diplômés eux-mêmes. Pendant ce temps, un photographe professionnel capturera le moment et les photos seront disponibles gratuitement plus tard sur le site de l'école. Après avoir reçu leur certificat, les, diplo les diplômés sont fortement encouragés à faire un tour en ville afin que la communauté de Lennoxville puisse célébrer avec vous. 
As we traditionally do, upon arrival, graduates will approach the stage to receive their certificates while we read out some messages of thanks and memories prepared in advance by the graduates themselves. All the while, a professional photographer will capture the moment and the photos will be available for free later in July on our school website. After receiving their certificates, graduates are highly encouraged to take a tour in town so the Lennoxville community can celebrate with you. Cela dit, et sans plus tarder, nous sommes honorés d'avoir M. Roy McLaren comme notre distingué joueur de cornemuse qui commencera notre cérémonie. With that said, and without further ado, we are honored to have Mr. Roy McLaren as our distinguished piper who will commence our ceremony. Principal, Vice Principal, Director General, Commissioner, Alexander Gall faculty and staff, distinguished guests, proud families and friends, and graduating class of 2021, welcome to Alexander Gall's graduation ceremony. Nous voudrions commencer par reconnaître que la terre où se trouve Alexander Galt et sur laquelle nous nous rassemblons ce soir se trouve sur le territoire traditionnel du peuple Abenaki et de la Confédération Wabenaki. We would like to begin by acknowledging that the land where Alexander Galt is situated and upon which we are gathered tonight is on traditional territory of the Abenaki people and the Wabanaki Confederacy. And we honor the rich history, stewardship, and cultural heritage that embody this place we call home. At this time, we ask you, if you can, uh, to stand for the singing of our national anthem. En ce moment, nous vous demandons de vous lever, si vous le pouvez, pour l'hymne national du Canada. This year rendition is performed by our very own music teacher, Mr. Chris Obermeyer, who will be accompanied by his son, Sebastian. Mr. Obermeyer will be retiring at the end of June. 35 years of teaching, thousands of student musicians, countless hours of planning, so many rehearsals, numerous great concerts, a musician and friend, Thank you, Mr. Obermeyer. You will be greatly missed. Le premier ministre du Canada, l'honorable Justin Trudeau, voudrait partager quelques mots avec nos gradués.
Hello class of 2021 and happy graduation day. Look, I know this isn't what you thought your high school graduation would be like. And I understand how difficult the last year has been for all of you. You've missed major milestones, you've adapted to the challenges of online learning, and you've skipped big events. As a parent, I see my own kids go through the same thing. And I want you to know that it's okay if today's celebration feels bittersweet. But as you end one chapter of your life and prepare to start the next, I hope you're all so proud. Proud of completing one of the most challenging school years of any generation. Proud of all the personal successes, lessons learned, and roadblocks you've overcome to get to where you are today. And proud of the strength and resilience you've built because it will carry you into the next phase of your life. Your loved ones are proud of you, and so is your country. Because in these difficult times, you've had our backs, and you've stepped up in your own way to help keep us all safe and healthy. And as we build back better from this pandemic, we know that we need to have your backs too. That means creating new opportunities, new jobs, and new growth to help you succeed today and into the future, and it means working together, too. We need your voices, your energy, and your ideas to help build a Canada that works for everyone. So as you start this next chapter, no matter what it may be, whether you're going to university or college in the fall, starting an apprenticeship in the trades, getting a job at a local business, or taking some time off to chart your path in life, I want you to know that you have the power to make a difference in your communities, across the country, and globally. You are the leaders we need today to build a brighter tomorrow. I wish you all the best, and I look forward to seeing all the amazing things that you will achieve in the years to come. But for now, I hope you celebrate today's success. And give your parents a big hug, because today's a big one for them, too. Congratulations, class of 2021. Stay safe and healthy, everyone, and thank you. We would now like to introduce Mrs. Peggy McCourt, our school principal, who wishes to share a few encouraging words with our graduates. Ms. McCourt will then introduce our valedictorian, Mackenzie Brody. Nous aimerions maintenant présenter Madame Peggy McCourt, notre directrice, qui souhaite partager quelques mots encourageants avec nos diplômés. Madame McCourt présentera également notre major de promotion, Mademoiselle Mackenzie Brody. Dear graduates, parents, family, friends, and staff, to all here with us tonight on campus and to all those joining from a distance, this evening I have the great privilege of welcoming you in our celebration of our Alexander Galt Regional High School graduating students. While we find ourselves once again celebrating in a manner different from what has been our tradition, it remains comforting that we find ourselves here on our campus to celebrate this milestone in the lives of our students. When the graduating class of 1970 became the first Piper alumni, little could they have imagined where we would be 51 years later. That first graduating class lived an experience of great change. They were part of over 3,000 students who came from their community schools to join together in this regional high school. 51 years later, our students navigated even greater change, a global pandemic and back-to-back -back school years that brought many challenges, losses and grief, and which came to a sharp halt before being reincarnated in various forms. As we navigated these challenges, we exercised resilience. Amidst these challenges, we also found accomplishments, joy, innovation, and newly built memories. It has been a period of great character development. The tears, laughter, frustration, uncertainty, pride, passion, and perseverance all contributed to our growth and to our progress. Our Pipers are strong and resilient. This is certainly not our usual graduation ceremony. However, our 2021 Pipers are having the opportunity to live a truly unique experience shared only with their 2020 peers. They will become known as our global pandemic graduates. 
and while we have become accustomed to thinking in terms of restrictions and limitations, while the ceremony itself was born of restrictions, it is now our second ceremony that may actually have no limitations of guests. We are not limited to the 1,000 number. Thanks to technology, our second cohort of pandemic graduates have unlimited guests observing this milestone celebration in their life. It might have seemed our glasses were half empty, but when we look from a different perspective, they're actually half full. We are proud and grateful for the opportunity to mark the accomplishments of all of our students. Like this unique school year, each graduate has followed a unique path to arrive at our red carpet this evening, each experiencing their own challenges and triumphs. And tonight we applaud the success of students receiving certificates in recognized specialized programs, as well as diplomas of secondary education. Each student who crosses our stage tonight should feel proud of themselves and should also feel the pride that we have for them. Chers parents, je vous remercie d'avoir placé la confiance en nous pour éduquer vos enfants. Nous pouvons être fiers du fait que ce soir nous célébrons les diplômés bilingues, capables d'atteindre le succès dans notre monde dans les deux langues officielles du Canada. Nous pouvons être fiers que nos connaissances sont fortes et résilientes. Ils ont démontré une capacité à persévérer et à réussir. To our graduates, tonight marks a pivotal milestone in your lives. The majority of you have spent at least the last five years together, if not the last 12. For some of you, I had the pleasure to be your principal at both elementary and at high school. I joyously saw you go from learning to read to reading to learn. To all of our graduates, know what a privilege it is for me to hand you your diplomas, even if tonight I can only do so from two meters away. To all of our graduates, these years have seen you sharing not only school experiences, but life experiences. You have shared many things, some things that you really didn't want to and other things that you probably shouldn't have. You have both laughed together and cried together. You have angered each other and encouraged each other. You've been establishing lifelong friendships and memories. Tonight we gather as a community, albeit differently, connected by technology, physically distanced but yet connected, virtually and emotionally surrounded by friends, family, staff, and the greater community. A collaborative partnership in supporting our graduates in their growth and success. Graduates know that beyond your car, there is a great audience and know that that audience gathers because of you. You have not been alone in this journey. You have been blessed to have the love and support of those around you. Dear graduates, as with this past period of your lives, how you seize each moment, persevere through each challenge, and how you face each triumph and each defeat will determine your legacy. You have already shown that you can persevere. Undoubtedly, the path that led you to the success we celebrate tonight has been decorated with different hurdles and triumphs, and you made it. Tonight, we all acknowledge and applaud everything that you have accomplished and the people you have become. Tonight marks your transition from childhood to adulthood. It is a period filled with new beginnings, new opportunities, new friendships and experiences, new freedoms, and new responsibilities. Graduates, my parting message to you is one that I share with all of my students as they graduate. There are many influences in life and it is up to you to use good judgment and to stand for what is right. The experience that you will have is determined by what you choose to make of it. You have the power to make a difference. Respect yourself, others, and your environment. Treat others as you wish to be treated. Leave each place as nice or nicer than you found it. Identify the kind of person you wish to be and then base your decisions accordingly. Take pride in your strengths and understand your needs. Remember that sometimes the right road is not always the easiest. Put your name on your mistakes, live with integrity. With this as your anchor, it will be difficult to go wrong. Graduates, this evening is all about you. On behalf of Mr. Element, Ms. McCulley, and Mr. Warnholtz, we extend to you our heartfelt congratulations and best wishes. We are proud of you and feel fortunate to be sharing your life. You are now Piper alumni, be proud. We will watch for you as the years move forward and we await all of your triumphs. Go forth with confidence, pride, resilience, and the strength of character to weather any hardship and to stay the right path. Know that you are not alone. Go forth with determination and create brilliant, happy lives. It is now my sincere pleasure to introduce to you this year's valedictorian. A top academic student, our valedictorian has also demonstrated excellence of character. On behalf of the graduating class of 2021, as voted by her peers, I proudly introduce to you Ms. Mackenzie Brody. Can you all hear me? Okay. 
Good afternoon, family, friends, commissioners, principals, staff, and fellow graduates. I, Mackenzie Brody, am honored to represent Alexander Galt's 2021 graduating class as this year's valedictorian. I'm ecstatic to be standing here after these five years knowing we finally made it. My fellow seniors and I can all admit that it has not been an easy ride. I can confidently speak for my peers when I say that high school is stressful enough without the added pressure of a global pandemic. The lack of communication and socialization took a big toll on my mental health as well as that of others. Not to mention the draining online classes with numerous technological malfunctions, which usually consisted of Mr. Leonard forgetting to turn on his volume. The constant change of rules and restrictions brought about a chaotic learning environment. When we did have the chance to be at school, our friendships among different bubbles were unfortunately limited. I wish I had the opportunity to inform my younger self to appreciate living a normal high school life. I never imagined coming to school would be the highlight of my week. The consequences of this pandemic have stolen our final year from us, causing the cancellation of the annual Europe trip, as well as Spirit Day and many other iconic activities. Although the circumstances of this year were extremely unfortunate, I'm able to announce that the class of 2021 has earned bragging rights for the survival of a pandemic whilst simultaneously surviving high school. Although this pandemic may have put a wrinkle in our senior year, we, will st we were still able to make memories over the fa past five years that will last us a lifetime. Our first year of high school was filled with new friendships, experiences, and challenges. I could have sworn it was just yesterday that my classmates and I were racing to the board in Mr. Dubois' class, desperate to win a team challenge. One of the most memorable experiences from level one that I recall was the rush and excitement of our first carnival. The silly spray, the chants, and not to mention the sore throats by the end of the day. Our second year was exciting nonetheless as we settled into Gaul and became more involved in student life. I learned over the course of that year that the only place my art, my art projects would be displayed was the back shelf of my closet. As our responsibilities grew greater and the math got harder, we advanced into level three, the middle of high school. Little did we know how fast it would go from there. From making friends with a strange Australian girl, I would say I see you, Tay, but I don't know what car you're in, to taking care of our egg babies in Robertson's class, it is plausible to say that lasting memories were made that year. There is no way I would have made my way through math class without Mr. Cote constantly reminding me that math is fun, math is easy, math is magical. A very inspirational quote in my opinion. Level four was the beginning of the end as we were unaware of the events that were soon to take place. Before our schooling was brought to an abrupt halt, we spent our second to last year enjoying the company of our fellow classmates. Crucial knowledge was gained that year, such as how Juju and I learned that no matter how many times you drop uncooked dough on the floor, you can't tell once it's been cooked. Too bad Abby and Reb hadn't slept, swept the floor yet. Actual knowledge was also gained over the course of that year when we were immersed in Canadian politics and began model parliament. I could never have imagined that, we'd be, that we would be doing question periods over Zoom. Fast forward to this year, our graduating year. Knowing we didn't have much time left, we had to make do with the circumstances and experience the best final year we could. If you're ever on the third floor at lunchtime, you can actually hear this mindset come into play. Let's just say Manny and I wish we could sing. Now here comes the sappy part, you all knew it was coming. Today we stand as graduates, holding all the knowledge we have accumulated over our years at Galt. Not to mention the bonds we have created with not only our peers, but with teachers and staff as well. We will take the things others have taught us into the workforce, back into school, or wherever life may take us. Five years ago, we walked into Alexander Galt Regional High School for the first time, but I can assure you that we are not the same people walking out. These lessons, habits, and understandings that other people have taught us will stay with us for the rest of our lives as we are mosaics of all the people who have impacted our lives. The thought of moving on is not always an easy concept to grasp. It tears at my heart that I will never be doubled over at my locker laughing at something J-Dog said ever again. However, we have reached a point in our lives where it is time to leave the building with our heads high and our eyes looking towards the future. I would like to thank, on behalf of the entire graduating class, the teachers who have made standing here today possible for, te for teaching us on days that they were tired or sick or just really didn't feel like it for allowing us to become the best versions of ourselves and giving us the support and confidence we needed while putting up with everything but the kitchen sink. We wouldn't be here today without them. We owe thanks to not only our teachers, but to our parents as well. The people who pushed us to try harder to be confident and sure of ourselves. I know I wouldn't be standing up here today giving you this astounding speech if it wasn't for the constant support and love from my mom and dad. 
In addition to that, I would like to thank Kyle and Madame Thibault for providing us with the best gradua graduation ceremony that they could based on these unfortunate circumstances, as well as the faculty and staff who made our years here memorable. Finally, I would like to thank you, my fellow graduates, for the incredible five years, the unforgettable memories, and the lasting impressions you have all made on me. And for that, I think we owe everyone a round of applause. Cue applause. Yeah. On that note, I would like to wish you all the best with your future endeavors and a final congratulations to the class of 2021. As Michael Scott once said, catch you on the flippity flip. Thank you, Ms. McCourt and Mackenzie. We will now begin the presentation of the graduation certificates. Our principal, Ms. Peggy McCourt, will be presenting the certificates. We would appreciate it if graduates and members of the audience here at Galt refrain from talking throughout this portion of the ceremony. Merci, Madame McCourt et Mackenzie. Nous allons maintenant procéder à la présentation des certificats. Notre directrice, Madame McCourt, présentera les certificats et nous apprécierions que les diplômés et les membres du public ici à Galt s'abstiennent de parler tout au long de cette partie de la cérémonie. Ladies and gentlemen, our first graduate of the evening is Mackenzie Brody. Mackenzie will be attending Champlain College next year in Health Sciences. Alia Belanger. Aliyah will be attending CREFA next year in the Animal Production Program. Congratulations. Congratulations. Katrina Fortin. Katrina will be attending Champlain College next year in the Nursing Program. Emily Fowler. Although Emily is not sure what she'd like to do in the future, she is off to Champlain College in Health Sciences. She hopes this will help her discover her dream and career path. She wishes to thank her family, teachers, and the friends who have helped make her high school experience a great one. Cole Bennett. Cole wishes to thank Robbie Fisk and Dave Beaulieu. Cole will be attending Champlain College next August in Social Sciences, the Criminology Profile. Mathieu Desjardins. Mathieu wishes to thank all of the teachers who've helped, who've helped him. Mathieu will be attending Champlain College next year in Social Sciences. Oh, nope. Congratulations. Emma Bellin. Emma will be attending Champlain next year in special care counseling. She wishes to thank Kyle Martel for always putting a smile on her face and making her years at Galt better. Congratulations, Emma. Michaela Fakat. Michaela wishes to thank her parents and friends for always being there to help and push her. Michaela will be entering the workforce next year. Congratulations. Mackenzie Achilles. Mackenzie's best memories are chilling with friends and working with Mr. Sharman. Mackenzie will be entering the workforce next year. Congratulations, Mackenzie. Oh. Heather. 
Heather Elliott. Heather wishes to thank Mrs. Lyons for helping her grow out of her comfort zone. She'll be attending Champlain College next year in the springboard program. Congratulations. Bruce Daniel. Bruce's best memory is just being with his friends. Bruce will be attending Champlain College next year in health sciences. Jameson Cavanaugh. Jameson will be going to the Bromisisqua Vocational Training Center next year. He wishes to become a chef. Congratulations. Yes. Alexander Dusty. Alexander wishes to thank Robbie Fisk and Dave Beaulieu, Bob Halsell, and the boys. Alexander will be entering the refrigeration program at the Vent Catcherin. Congratulations.
Sorry, what do you think, Shadow? Joshua Fisher. Joshua plans on entering the Conduit d'Angers, the, the Chantier program next year. Congratulations, Joshua. Congratulations. Megan Delaney. Megan will be attending Champlain College next year in the Accounting and Management Technology Program. Congratulations. Congratulations. Riley Christie. Riley is off to McGill's McDonald College campus next year to complete his degree in farm management and technology. Congratulations. Lea Caron. Lea would like to thank her math, chemistry, and physics teachers for all their help and patience. Lea will be attending Champlain College next year in the nursing program. Congratulations. Congratulations. Amelia Blinn. Amelia will be part of the first co cohort in the Soins Préhospitalier d'Urgence, the Ambulance Technician Program at the Cégep de Sherbrooke. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Kristen Wilson. Kristen's best memory at Galt is Carnival 2020. Kristen is off to Champlain College to pursue a degree in special care counseling. Brianna Williams. Brianna will be attending Champlain College in Social Sciences next year, the Criminology Profile. Congratulations. Congratulations. Gabriel Balbosa de Barros. Gabriel wishes to thank his friends, family, and teachers for sticking with him throughout this journey. Congratulations. Matthew Davidson. Matthew wishes to thank all the great teachers he had along the way. He'll be going to the Sanvet Cadre in the Heavy Road Vehicle Mechanics Program. Congratulations. Dawson Coates. Dawson is off to Champlain College next year in the Social Sciences Program. Congratulations, Dawson. Just got it. Congratulations, Dawson.
Brianna Connor. Brianna will be attending Champlain College next year in sciences. She, she wishes to become an agricultural engineer. Congratulations. <laughs> Samuel Balduc. Samuel is off to the Centre de Formation Professionnelle Le Tremplin in Mécanique de Véhicules de Loisirs et d'Équipements Légers. He wishes to thank Mr. McBean and the boys. Congratulations. James DuPont. James wishes to thank the boys for making this year absolutely mint. He'll be uh, attending Champlain College next year in social sciences. Congratulations. Ryan Cabana. Ryan's best memory is having fun with his friends. Ryan will be starting the welding program at the Lennoxville Vocational Training Center this August. Congratulations. Noah Fournier. Noah was part of our challenges program and we appreciated all his community services. Noah wishes to thank everyone who worked with him, his teachers, the support staff, and parents that have helped him along the way. Great job. Congratulations, Noah. Dylan Dubois. 
Dylan has enjoyed his time at Alexander Galt and would like to thank all of his family, friends, and teachers that have helped him along the way. Congratulations, Dylan. Congratulations. Kaylee Bodden. Kaylee will be going to adult education to obtain her prerequisites for nursing. Her best memory at Galt is the great time she had in phys ed. Kaylee wishes to thank Mr. Smith, Mr. Pachinovic, Mrs. Boucher, Mr. Shea, and Mrs. Como for their guidance and support. Caden Delude. Caden will be entering the Saint Vincadre in the Heavy Equipment Mechanics program this August. Congratulations. Congratulations. Rayanna Bruss. Ray will be attending the CRIFA in Coatacook next year to pursue a degree in animal production. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ray. Emma Boudreau. Emma wishes to thank all of her friends and family who helped her get through her journey, but especially her parents for never giving up on her. Emma will be attending Sijeb de Drummondville uh, next year in early childhood education. Congratulations. Jada Dweck. Jada will be attending Champlain College next year in health sciences. Congratulations. Yinglin Zhang. Yinglin's best memory is the Chinese New Year. Yinglin will be moving to Montreal to attend LaSalle College to pursue a degree in hotel management. Congratulations. Melody Keat. Melody would like to thank her friends and teachers. She will be attending Champlain College in the Visual Arts program this fall. Congratulations. Congratulations. Dylan Catchpaw. Dylan wishes to thank his friends for making things easier. He also wishes to thank his parents. Dylan will be entering the workforce this fall. Yeah. 
Congratulations. Melijad Boule. Melijad's best memories were hanging out with her friends, going to La Ronde, and having nice teachers. Congratulations. You just take your diploma from here. Congratulations. Mena Aguilar. Mena will be attending Champlain next year in visual arts with the hopes of becoming a graphic designer. Congratulations. Congratulations. Matthew Dion. Matthew wishes to thank all of his teachers that help him get to this day. He'll be entering the welding program at the Lennoxville Vocational Training Center next year. Congratulations, Matthew. Congratulations. Mina Lemoine. Mina wishes to thank everyone here who supported her throughout the years. She plans on attending adult education next year. Congratulations. Congratulations. Leanna Lemoine. Leanna would like to thank Mrs. Kerr for all her help and support. She plans on attending New Horizons next year. Congratulations, Leanna. Congratulations. William Del Scholes. William has decided to enter the workforce next year. Congratulations, Congratulations William. William. Well done. Tyson Bolduc. Tyson's best memories are the wicked laughs with the boys and their food fights. Tyson has decided to join the workforce next year. Congratulations, Tyson. Congratulations, Tyson. Madison Bradley. Madison will be attending Champlain College next year in health sciences. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thomas Ferguson. Thomas wishes to thank his best friends, Lily Buffal, Madison, uh, Mason Kirby, Tyson Baldick, and Anakin Ward for keeping school fun, and his parents and teachers, teachers for guiding him through. Ty Thomas is off to CREFA in agricultural mechanics next year. Rebecca Delorier. Rebecca will be attending Champlain College next year in the Springboard program. She wishes to thank her parents, sisters, friends, and Amy Lavalley, who were there and stuck by her side throughout the years at Gulf.
Adrian Escobar. Adrian wishes to thank his friends, family, and lastly, his girlfriend. Adrian will be attending the Saint Venkat Juan to become a carpenter. Congratulations. Michaela LaMarche. Michaela wishes to thank Mr. McBean, Mr. Robinson. Michaela is off to Champlain College next year in nursing. Congratulations. Congratulations. Haley Lynn, had on Cote. Haley Lynn will be attending adult education next year to obtain her prerequisites for the nursing program. Her best memory at Galt was spending time in the hub and triage. Shout out to Amy and Wanda. Congratulations. Anakin Ward. Anakin wishes to thank his amazing girlfriend for making this last year unforgettable and always helping him make his memory aids. He also wishes to thank the Sant Agricultes Expert Incorporated. You mash it, we fix it. 819-877-2400. Anakin is off to Krefa to pursue a degree in agricultural mechanics. Molly Gadet. Molly will be entering grade 12 at Bishop's College School next year. That's just something you don't see every day. <laughs> I love it. Whichever way you want. 48. I trust you. It's okay, it's fine there. Lillianne Buffard. Lillianne's best memory of Galt is hanging out around with Thomas Ferguson and Ray Brust because wherever they are, everyone's experience is more joy and laughter. Lily is off to Crefa next year in the accounting program.
Catherine Guillette Jones. Catherine is going to Crefa next year in the animal production. She is thankful that Galt gave her an opportunity to learn a second language and become fully bilingual. Congratulations, Kevin. Mariana Juan de Paz Solis. Mariana will be attending Champlain College next year in the Accounting and Management Technologies. She wishes to thank her parents and family for supporting her. Maria Gilbert. Maria has decided to enter the workforce next year. Shelly Haladin. Shelly is going to Champlain College next year in Social Sciences, Criminology Profile. Carson K. Carson is very excited to be starting heavy equipment mechanic program at the Saint de Vencadrin in August. William Lepit. William will be attending Champlain College next fall in social sciences, criminology profile. He wishes to advance his knowledge and finally reach his long-term goal of becoming a customer's officer, a custom officer. Brian Goodwin. Brian wishes to thank his friends for all of the good times they spent together where their friendships turned into brotherhood. Brian will be attending adult education next year to obtain his prerequisites for the SAGEP program. Olivia Grimes. Olivia is off to Champlain College next year to complete a degree in special care counseling.
Maya LaChapelle. Maya will be entering the workforce next year. Amelia Julien. Amelia was in our Two For You program and completed her degree in sales. Next year, she'll be starting the bakery program at the Saint Vincent Run. Madison Giroux. Madison will be attending Champlain College with the intention of becoming a nurse. Congratulations. Alicia Janson. Alicia would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers who helped her throughout her high school career. She will be attending Sejep de Sherbrooke next year in physiotherapy. Congratulations. Congratulations. Catherine Goddard. Catherine wishes to thank all of her teachers that helped her get this far. She will be starting the pastry program at the Saint Vincent Jean in August. Congratulations. Congratulations. Right here, right here. Yeah, you take it, yeah. Congratulations. Liberty Lloyd. Liberty is off to McGill McDonald campus in Montreal next year to start the farming management program. Congratulations. Trinity Luce. Trinity will be attending Champlain College next fall in their special care counseling program. Aiden Jacob. Aiden will be attending Champlain College next year in accounting and management technology. Congratulations. Lorelei Grenier. Lorelei is off to Sejep to Sherbrooke next year in social sciences. Congratulations. Congratulations. Rebecca Hopkins. Next year, Rebecca will be attending Champlain College in the Springboard program. Eventually, she would like to complete a degree to become a veterinarian technician. Congratulations.
Jade Lachance. Jade would like to become a dentist. She is off to Sejep de Sherbrooke in Health Sciences in August. Dylan Knight. Dylan will be attending Champlain College next year in liberal arts. Congratulations, Dylan. Jean-Paul Valcourt Rodrigue. Jean-Paul would like to thank all of his math and science teachers he's had over the past five years. Jean-Paul plans on entering the workforce. Congratulations. Anthony Green. Anthony will be going to Champlain College next year in social sciences. Congratulations, Anthony. Ashton Kent. Ashton wishes to thank all of his family members for helping and encouraging him to finish school and to get his work done. He needs to thank his friends for making school so much more interesting. Without his friends and family, he wouldn't be here right now. Congratulations. Angela Johnson. Angela wishes to thank her family and friends who pushed her and reminded her to never give up, no matter what life throws at you. Angela will be attending Champlain College in Social Sciences next year. Mary Lou Grenier. Mary Lou is off to Champlain College next year in Social Sciences, Psychology Profile. Congratulations. Zach Lafreniere. Zach wishes to thank uh, Amy Lavallee for everything she has done for him and other students by helping them get through difficult days. Zach will be entering the workforce next year. Congratulations, Zach. Wasn't that many years ago, Mrs. McCourt, that I didn't need to wear glasses? 
seeing that uh, those days are gone. Nathaniel Knapp. Nathaniel will be starting the machining co-op program at LVTC next week, where he will be working and studying simultaneously. Congratulations. Justine Langlois. Justine will be attending Champlain College next year in commerce. Congratulations. Ethan Lane. Ethan is off to the big city next year to attend John Abbott in Computer Sciences. Congratulations, Ethan. Congratulations. Logan Letourneau. Logan wishes to thank Mr. Obermeyer, Mr. McBean, and Madame Nadeau for being their best teachers ever. Logan will be attending Champlain College in Social Sciences Criminology Profile. Congratulations. Ashla, Ashna LeMay. Ashna will be going to Champlain College in Health Science. She would like to thank her angels in heaven, her mother and Mr. Charmy. She also wishes to thank her father, who has always been there for her, even when she didn't notice. To her loving family, thank you. Thank you to all of her teachers. Joshua LeMay. Joshua wishes, wishes to thank his friends and family, who encouraged him to never give up. Joshua is off to Crefa in August to become an auto mechanic. Congratulations. Mason Kirby. Mason wishes to thank his father, Mr. Marlin, and Mrs. Como. Mason is off to Crefa in August to complete his degree in agricultural mechanics. Congratulations. Amelia Hartwelt. Amelia will be attending Champlain College next fall in social sciences, soci sociology profile. She would like to thank Mr. Sharman, Mrs. Como, because if it wasn't for them, she would not be where she is today. Christina Young. Christina will be attending Champlain College in Special Care Counseling. Congratulations. Kellyanne Grandon Gagné. Kellyanne will be attending Le Cégep de Sherbrooke next year in early childhood education. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
Matthew Sheldon. Matthew wishes to thank his parents and friends and everyone who helped in through golf. Matthew was in our Two For You program this year and will be completing his auto mechanics program at CREFA in August. Congratulations. Congratulations. Jason Whalen. Jason will be starting the accounting and management program at Champlain College. Elizabeth Savage. Elizabeth Liesel will be attending Champlain College in August to pursue a degree in social sciences psychology profile. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Congratulations. Marcus Young. Marcus wishes to thank Vin Diesel Impression. It's all about the family. Marcus will be entering the workforce. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hannah Rogers. Hannah will be <laughs> Hannah will be attending Champlain College to complete a degree in health sciences. Congratulations, Congratulations. Emmanuel Le Pitt. Emmanuel will be attending Champlain College in Health Sciences next August. Congratulations. Trinity Redeker. Trinity wishes to thank Feltz Help, specifically Clea. She also wishes to thank her significant other for pushing her to graduate and for believing in herself when she did not. Hannah Tetro. Hannah will be attending Champlain College in the Creative Arts program. Congratulations. Justin Cario. Justin will be attending the Sejep de Sherbrooke next August in the Computer Sciences and Mechanics Mathematics program. Congratulations. Yep, that's right. Congratulations. Miranda Weir. 
Miranda wishes to thank Kyle Martell for making her years at Galt better. Miranda will be attending Champlain College in special care counseling. Congratulations. Andrew Maine. Andrew will be attending the Lennoxville Vocational Training Center next August in the welding program. Congratulations, Andrew. I just grabbed your, your diploma there. Zachary Parnell. Zachary will be starting the Agricultural Mechanic Program at CREFA in August. Congratulations. Hannah Poulain. Hannah wishes to thank her mom for being her number one supporter and her teachers. Hannah will be attending Champlain College next year in social sciences psychology profile. Annabelle Poliquin. Annabelle wishes to thank the swim team. Thank you to the coaches and teammates. She also wishes to thank her teachers and parents for supporting her. Annabelle will be attending Le Cégep de Sherbrooke next year in the social work program. Congratulations. You can grab your diploma. Hey, you take it with you. <laughs> It'll get you in the Cégep. You don't have to It'll give it back. Donovan Walker. Donovan wishes to thank his mother, father, grandfather, and all the boys for supporting him through high school. Donovan is off to Champlain College in social sciences. Congratulations, Donovan. River Morse. River would like to thank the roadies with the boys, all his friends, family, and teachers. River is off to McGill's McDonald College next year in farm management and technology. Logan Robida. Logan was the recipient of the Lieutenant Governor General's medal this year. He wishes to thank his coaches, teachers, and friends, family, and Mr. Marlin. Congratulations. Logan is off to Champlain College in the Pure and Applied Sciences.
Brooklyn Robertson. We were happy to welcome Brooklyn to Galt this year. She'll be attending Champlain College to study special care counseling. Congratulations. You can just grab your diploma. Yeah, it's for you. Congratulations. Benjamin McCulley. Benjamin's best memory was being able to play rugby at golf and spending time with his friends. Benjamin will be attending Champlain next year in social sciences, criminology profile. Congratulations, Ben. Alexis Turgeon. Alexis is starting school, a uh, trade school next August. He will be attending Saint Vincadjuin Carpentry Program. Congratulations, Alexis. Yep, that's yours. Congratulations. Anthony Sylvester. Anthony wishes to thank Mr. Coley, Mr. Robertson, and Mr. Hine. He will be starting the heavy equipment mechanic program at the saint in August. Congratulations. Taylor Robitaille. Taylor will be attending Champlain College in August to pursue a degree in health sciences. Rebecca Riche. Rebecca will be attending Champlain College next year in Social Sciences, Criminology Profile. Congratulations here, Rebecca Riche. <laughs> Lily McLean. Lily will be attending Champlain College next August to pursue a degree in Pure and Applied Sciences.
Rosalie Roberge. Rosalie's best memories at golf were the field trips to Montreal with her basketball team and all the carnivals. She wishes to thank her parents, all of her friends, and her boyfriend for always supporting her. Rosalie will be attending the Cégep de Sherbrooke next August in physiotherapy. Casey Wallet. Casey will be going to the Cégep de Sherbrooke in the Springboard program in August. Congratulations, Casey. Congratulations. Lauralie Provencher Brazo. <clears throat> Lauralie is off the Cégep de Sherbrooke to play basketball and pursue a degree in social sciences psychology Thank profile. Julianne Provencher. Julianne will be entering Cham Champlain College in the Health Science Program. Congratulations. Victor Hugo Rodriguez Schulz. Victor would like to thank his parents and friends. Victor will be attending Champlain College next August in Pure and Applied Sciences. Noah Sheldon. Noah's best memories of Galt are the basketball road trips and watching the Gibby show with the boys at the hotel. Noah's off to play basketball at the Cégep de Sherbrooke and pursue a degree in computer sciences. Kyle Maurice. Kyle wishes to thank all of his great teachers and coaches, especially Mr. Dunn. Most special of thanks to his amazing parents for always supporting him. Congratulations. Kyle is off to Cégep de Sherbrooke to join the basketball team and pursue a degree in health sciences.
Joshua Picard. Joshua wishes to thank Robbie Fisk, Dave Bolio, Bob Halsall, and the boys. Joshua is off to Champlain next year in social sciences, Joshua. criminology profile. Alyssa Paxton. <laughs> Alyssa will be starting the nursing program at Champlain College in August. She wishes to thank her family, friends, and teachers for helping her to be successful and leading her to college. <laughs> Sarah Sverenyakova. Sarah wishes to thank everyone for being a part of her Canadian experience. Sarah is going back home to the Czech Republic to complete her high school education. Amanda Rogers Lallier. Amanda would like to thank her family for their encouragement and love. Amanda will be starting the LPN nursing program at the Lennoxville Vocational Training Center in August. Cyan Sirwa. Although Cyan was learning from home this year, she's enjoyed her time at Alexander Galt and would like to thank all of her family, friends and teachers that have helped her along the way. Logan Roger. <laughs> Logan wishes to thank his family and friends for supporting him throughout the years. Logan will be attending Champlain College in the Commerce Program. Congratulations, Logan. Love to have him. I try, I try. I always try. <laughs> it's an inside joke. <laughs> Abby Oakley. Abby's best memory of golf is the classroom karaoke. Abby will be attending Champlain College next fall in Social Sciences, Criminology Profile. Jeremy Poitras. Jeremy would like to thank his mother, father, and friends. He's off to Champlain College next August, entering the Accounting and Management Technology Program. Congratulations, Jeremy.
Ainsley Mitchell. Ainsley wishes to thank his friends and family for guiding him and helping him through his journey. Ainsley will be attending Champlain College in the Health Sciences Program. Yeah. Love the suit, love the suit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop the moonwalk. <laughs> Dylan Potvin. Dylan will be entering the workforce next year. He wishes to thank everyone who helped him along the way. Brandon Phillips. Brandon will be attending Champlain next year in social sciences. Brandon wishes to thank Shelley Ladin for putting up with him for three years. Cyan Pivin Glaude. Cyan wishes to thank all her teachers, family, and friends who supported her throughout her golf years. Cyan will be attending adult education next year to obtain her prerequisites for her program. Samantha Savard. Samantha wishes to thank her family and teachers who have helped her throughout her years at Galt. She would also like to thank her friends who procrastinated and complained along with her. Special thanks to her significant other, Tyrone, for helping her not procrastinate so much. So a big round of applause for our graduating class of 2021. This now concludes our 2021 graduation ceremonies. Once again, thank you to everyone who made this evening possible, and congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. Thank you for tuning in, and for those here on campus, please get home safely. Merci beaucoup, Madame McCourt. À ce moment, nous tenons à remercier chaleureusement tous nos bénévoles d'Alexander Golf et le comité du bal qui ont rendu cette soirée possible. De plus, nous aimerions exprimer notre profonde gratitude à tous nos héros méconnus de la communauté qui ont fait des dons à divers titres pour célébrer nos diplômés en ces temps non conventionnels. Vous êtes vraiment l'incarnation de l'esprit communautaire. Ceci conclut maintenant nos cérémonies de remise des diplômes 2021. Encore une fois, merci à tous ceux qui ont rendu cette soirée possible et félicitations à la promotion de 2021. Merci pour votre écoute et pour ceux qui sont ici sur le campus, veuillez rentrer chez vous en toute sécurité. Bonne fin de soirée.